here's a mini scrapbook I made using the Timeless Portrait Designer Series paper and eight of our Whisper White envelopes. When you open the cover, you can see the first and second pages. Right here, you can see that this is the inside of our envelope. And they're all connected. I'll show you how that goes together in just a minute. The little insert pieces um, measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And the little tab is created with our round tab punch. The eyelet border punch gives a nice little decorative edge here to help to kind of hide the shape of that envelope when it's open. Every other envelope is open like this and has a little insert piece. Even though this is part of the second envelope and is open and you can insert something in there, I chose to close mine up and leave it as just a flat page because it wouldn't work well for putting an insert with that little tab part there. It wouldn't allow it to close properly. This page here has two little elements with the designer frames embossing folders, which I think look really cute. Um, it would be nice for journaling or labeling or some small portraits there. And then again, another pocket here. So there's eight envelopes, and that allows you four pockets. This is our uh, 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon, which makes a nice little frame around this cardstock here. And then the final pages are right here. And then this is our um, back cover. You can see the cover piece here is a little larger than the envelope. And the designer series paper is wrapped around like a present, just to give you nice clean edges all the way around. Now this is the back of the book, and I chose to cover the back of the envelopes with the designer series paper so you could add more photos here or if it's displayed on a tabletop it looks nice from both sides and I'll show you how this opens up so it goes all the way across like this so it will lay nice and flat if you want to look at your photos it'll also um, sit nice on your mantle as an accordion style kind of like that if you can kind of envision the whole album going together like that looks really nice and it folds up really easy and compact and I'll show you how to put the base of the album together. So you're going to use our medium whisper white envelopes. You're going to apply adhesive on all four of the edges here and this is on the inside of the flap and then you have your next envelope. The back of it is going to be glued to the flap here and you want to take your time and Line at the edges here so your album is nice and straight when you go to put everything together. So you can see how this is your pocket here and here's another flap and you would just continue adhering your envelopes until you made it as long as you like. The final um, envelope is going to have the back bent just like this and this is the part that is glued to your front cover. Now the front cover is just made with the scrap chipboard that's in our designer series paper and you can cut that up a little bit larger than your envelope so I believe I cut this to six inches by four and three quarters and then your paper that you're going to wrap it with needs to be a little bit larger than that so I believe I cut this to seven inches and five and three quarters somewhere along those lines and so you can take your adhesive run it around all the edges here and you can glue this piece straight down oh I want that on the front so we're gonna flip it over glue your piece down just like this you don't have to be too straight here because these edges aren't even going to show and then add your tape around the back all the edges here and then I like to fold one side in at a time and I'm going to actually not press too hard on those corners because I want to tuck those in just a little bit. I'm going to go to the opposite side here. And you can see a little bit of that adhesive is showing here. That doesn't matter because your envelope is going to cover that up when you put it together. So this part here, if I had this flat and then folded over, it might not line up properly. So I want to kind of um, tuck that in just a little bit like this. And you don't even have to be even on the other side because like I said, you're not going to see this once you um, start putting your envelopes on top of it. It just helps it to be a little less bulky. And then um, I'm going to add more adhesive right there on that part that 
we just fold it. And then this part's going to come over, kind of like wrapping a present, I guess. And then you're going to fold that in like this. And it gives you those nice little clean edges here. And then your envelopes that are all glued together will simply get glued on that. And that's really how your album goes together. The front of the cover is um, decorated with the, I think it's called the um, oval scallop frame tie with basic black cardstock and a little bit of pearls to each of the scallop. There's more of that um, pretty timeless portrait designer series paper underneath. And then the cherry cobbler cardstock is punched with a two-step bird punch. And this, I believe, is Island Indigo. So a cute little album, really easy to put together. And I hope you liked it. Thank you.